this video we'll be taking a look at our uh, day trades from today and in total I made a profit of close to $84 and now let's take a look at the stocks that I traded so as you can see on my right hand side of the screen I traded plug Tesla Neo and VAC stock and uh, the first one being being plug um, that was the first position I took on this stock was in the free market and I went short at around uh, $31.68 when I saw this huge wick rejecting the pre-market high of $32. Um, however, I ended up covering uh, just at a dollar profit because I just feeling that it might rip through just because how strong it was and it was so close to the VWAP. Uh, that I didn't want to chance it. So I just got out of it and barely a dollar profit. Later when I saw this stock weakening and was uh, trading under 20 days moving average, this yellow line, I went short again. And then at the VWAP, I ended up covering the position just for $8 because I just went in 50 shares short. Um, then the third position that I took on plug was uh, right when after the market opened and I saw weakness around the VWAP and it already rejected a 20 days moving average. So I went short again for the VWAP break and closed it during just right at this level of support where it showed you know, some consolidation couldn't break through right away and I booked a profit of just $13 here. So three trades on plug stock, all profit, um, and that was uh, around $22 on plug. The next stock I traded was Tesla. And let's take a look at how I traded this. Um, so I saw Tesla uh, plummeting today and it already did its uh, three to one stock split um, or one to three stock split, sorry. Uh, when I saw this consolidation at the bottom and this green candle where I went long position, I remember seeing this uh, price come all the way back down here and then quickly got bought up. So I knew there's a strong buying, sorry, strong buying pressure coming. Uh, so I took that as the stop loss area and I was long. And since it did not break below that, I kept holding on to it and when it at this candle broke over uh, 20 days moving average. Um, I was, you know, uh, $10 in profit. So I just booked it $10 for a dollar, went in 10 shares. Um, and that was the trade on Tesla. Uh, you know, in the hindsight, I could have held it until VWAP, but I was thinking that it might come back again and, you know, uh, test the low of the day and then might, you know, go back up. Um, but then I didn't worry too much about it. Um, I thought of getting in at this level as well when it was creating this higher high support, uh, higher low support. Um, but I just kept uh, waiting for it to pull back a little bit down and then I was gonna you know, go long for the double bottom. But since I wasn't comfortable taking this position, I did not take it. So with the stock market, you don't have to take all the positions. You just have to trade the type of patterns and the, uh, you know, the, the double bottoms or the double tops uh, formation of the chart that you are confident in. Just trade those. If the chart doesn't give you that, you don't have to worry about just for the sake of getting into the trade going in. It's always turns out into the bad trade. Um, so that was with Tesla. And then let's take a look at the NEO. Well, before going to NEO, I want to show my uh, VASC trade. So with VACC trade, um, I went in short over here at the consolidation. Um, so at 11.18, I saw this, you know, huge wick after consolidation at the top. Um, and I kind of missed it, but then I waited for another pop. And when it popped back again to that same level, I went short um, 100 shares and then I booked profit and at the 20 days moving average. So all in all, I made a profit of $20 on VAC. Um, oh, happy with 100 shares, you know, $20 profit. That's 20% profit. Um, so happy with my position there. Well, NEO, 
my another trade that I took today on the short side, 150 shares. So Neo was uh, make, just was going straight up, and when such high cap stocks goes up, uh, you really don't have much place to short them because they will stabilize up on the top. Then they are not like short cap stocks that would you know fluctuate a lot up and down. Um, so positioning in here is very like time bound and also during the you know uh, lunch time is when they pull back a little bit to the VWAP uh, in, on such strong move and you really have to wait for a strong consolidation for the reversal so at this point I was seeing that it was a big red candle compared to all other candles down there and it wasn't creating higher highs anymore or higher lows and I felt that this is the area of reversal so I went 100 shares short um, but then it did go up but considering it was already so up I was comfortable holding it and then I eventually decided going 50 shares more short um, when it slowed down up here and eventually after consolidation when the stock came back down I booked I took out 50 shares here at the 50 days moving average and then 50 shares here built between 50 days moving average and VWAP so all in all i traded 150 shares short of tesla and made 31 dollars profit so total i made around 82 dollars in profit today um yeah so that's all for the day trade today guys uh, i hope you enjoyed my video and if you did please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel it's gonna help me out a lot um and i hope I am able to educate you guys something on the way I trade and hopefully you can implement you know um, such way of trading in your strategies as well and with that I'll see you in the next one take care bye